up? Uh, it's been a hot minute. Uh, more than a hot minute. <laughs> I think this month is six months since we last posted. Uh, for those of you that were wondering, we are not dead. Nope. As far as I'm aware. Um, and we have lots of stuff going on. I don't know if you can see right here. We have a new legit turbo and manifold for the Sonata. This came off Matt from Emerald Coast. Shop. Yeah, the shop from, from Emerald Coast Motorsports shop. Evo. Um, so it's very legit. I think didn't he say it only has sixty thousand miles on it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's new to us, basically. Um, so it is currently like eight thirty in the morning, and we have all day, for the most part, to make this happen. So, in other news, of course we have the turbo for this car. We also have a new legit turbo for that car. Our friend Chris sold us a VF39, which for those of you that don't know is the STI turbo. Uh, oh, and, I, wow, I'm talking like people know that this car is back from the shop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it has its engine. Totally forgot. So, basically, what ended up happening with this car was... Um, Emerald Coast Motorsports is just extremely busy. They anticipated being a bit slower over the winter, you know, like come October or November, but that didn't happen. They really haven't slowed down since they moved to that new shop in Fort Walton Beach. Um, so what they ended up doing was just finishing the actual engine for us and then giving it back to us to finish. So basically we have to do everything, like hook up all the vacuum lines, do like all the intake, put the turbo in, do all the fluids, put the radiator back in, basically everything that's left beyond like putting the case halves and like that stuff back together. And brakes and suspension and wheels and tires. Yep. And what we're going to do on this car, on the Subaru specifically, is we're going to um, do, well actually I've done the new brakes at this point, but um, we're going to change out the struts and we're going to do the Forester struts to lift this biatch and then the plan is to do, um, to do general grabbers, do like an off-road kind of like rally-ish, not really rally, but we want to do like a cool bull bar. Off-road build. Yeah, off-road build. We'll just leave it at that for now. I mean, the paint is already pretty jacked up, so might as well just do something cool like that instead of just having two identical cars. I mean, that would be really cool, but you know, the, the likelihood of us being able to race around in both at the same time is pretty slim at this point in time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we got a lot going on, so I'm pretty stoked. I'm really stoked, actually. Cars look sick. All dirty and stuff. Yep, all dirty. And not put together. So once this car cools down, we're going to get to getting about time. I was also going to say real quick that um, I tend to post updates on our Facebook page, so I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, it normally is there, but just so you guys know, um, the updates and kind of just like sneak peeks and that kind of stuff usually end up on Facebook, so definitely go ahead and like us over there and just kind of check in there if you don't see anything from us for a while, but that's definitely not going to be the case moving forward for the next little while at least since we got enough to do on these cars. So, uh, But yeah, just check out our Facebook page, there's going to be plenty of stuff there. I know you've done this like four or five times, mm -hmm. but there is an upshot. What? Would you like to hear it? I know how to do it. Uh, well, well, yeah, there's, there's that, yes. But the new manifold is Different. flat. And so you can get to every bolt without having to do all this bullshit, like two open ends and like different oh, sockets true. and stuff. Because it's flat, so you won't have to worry about the pipes getting in your way. So dude, just look forward to the future. I... Your life is about to get easier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Well, you know, putting it back on as far as bolting it in is going to be easy when we get to that point, if we ever do. I'm just afraid, because <clears throat> it seems like it's deeper, I'm afraid that the radiator fan is not going to fit. But I'm pretty sure that one over there is the radiator one and the other one is the AC, if that is a thing. I, I don't know if that's I, a thing. I feel like I looked that up. Did you pull that yellow hose off and it just ripped? Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you know it was on there good. There we go. Wow. It's been a little while since we've seen it like that. Well, nothing on it? Yeah. It's crazy that all that is going to get 
thrown away. Yeah. And replacing it with this. Oh man, the test fit already. Will it work? Dude, it fits even better than, oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't work. The turbo's too big, it hits that thing there. Yeah, which we can unbolt that. What is that? Shit. Uh, is that just like a heat shield? Part of it is, yeah. What's behind it is the question. Probably the starter. That would be brutal if we had to take off the exhaust to get to the starter. We don't have any other heat shields, might as well not have this one either. There's a cable going to it, so yeah, you might be right. I don't know. Can we do a no starter mod? <laughs> Bump started everywhere? You're right, wow. All right. Jeez. That kind of blows. Oh, I need this part to keep this just like kind of pointed up. Huh. Well, I'm going to assume that on Evos, the uh, starter isn't right there. Isn't right in that spot, yeah. Because the engine's flipped the other way, that's why. Well, shit. <laughs> that's no good. I think Matt will return this. <laughs> Uh, so did that just close out our day? <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, it just flat out doesn't work. Oh, man. That is super brutal. So what is this? eBay Turbo number three? Fucking A, dude. That sucks, Dick. No, we'll just, uh... I, I mean, I like the no starter mod idea. We don't really need that. What to do, what to do. And this is different. This is turned, so it would either be exhaust against the engine or exhaust against the... Radiator. Because if you look, it's like the, the flat end's on this side, the long end's on that side. Or is it just a perfect square? It looks pretty squarish to me, but they're also turned different ways. Maybe just no turbo mod. Alrighty. Well, Matt said there's a couple of things we can do. Um, he was wondering if maybe the starter is bigger on the NA models, and maybe we can do the smaller starter, make that fit. Um, the other thing is we might be able to make or find a manifold to shift the turbo over slightly. Um, maybe do some other modifications like a smaller radiator or something like that. One way or another, he said we can make it work. And we'll just have to see. We don't know what we're going to do yet, but we'll have to come back to this car, unfortunately. So we're on to the Subaru. For today, at least. <laughs>